Well, it took a little while, but the Ksh Triumph 5550 is out now for all platforms. Hey, what's going on everybody? It's DJ. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome to new mods for Farming Simulator 22. Today we got 12 mods for you for all platforms. We have one new and four updates. One of those updates is this case. And also for PC and Mac, we have five new and two updates. I make mod review videos every time they're released on the end game mod up. So get subscribed if you're new. That way you never miss any. Starting off today, we've got some new mods for all platforms. So by that, I mean we have one this is the farmhouse 10 by 8. this is really cool because it's another fully functional fully done house we have doors going in there goes into the house do 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 do, do. going in through here look how modern this is and nice what's on the uh pattern right here uh can't read that but hey we got a sound system in the living room nice kitchen area right here as well there's the door going into the garage again and then we've got a couple doors upstairs. One goes in here. Oh, yo, look at this icon. Oh, it looks awesome. Go in here. You can go to bed. Come over here to the wardrobe. You can change up your look if you really want to do that. Come over here. Oh, I thought this was going to be a bathroom. Nope, just like a study. Oh, yo, it's a YouTuber studio. That's cool. And we've got special lights everywhere. Over here, we got some snacks. They're playing Farming Simulator, or Camera One. And then you got another camera too with a ring light. Oh, that's awesome. Yo, that's cool. That's really cool. This is nice. Yo, this is a five star all the way. Also, while we're talking about houses, um, um, uh, Mr. Marcel told me that one of my videos was out of date. Um, I'm in single player. <laughs> And you can now place down, as far as I've been able to tell, as many houses as you want. Um, yeah. A little bit much, huh? I mean, it's just keep going. All right. Yep. Yep. Just keep, keep going. Want some trailers? Sure. You, you got it, man. Yeah, this is, uh, <laughs> I'm not saying it's a game breaker, but there you go. If you guys are in single player, uh, you don't even need to worry anymore after 1.6. Here you go, just put down as many houses as you want. Ba boom. Now I get to go through and delete all of these. Oy. Oh yeah, and also after the, the most previous update, you guys were asking me how to sell stuff. Well, if you're on consoles, just go over and select the piece and then click down on the right stick. That'll allow you to sell pretty much whatever you want very quickly. So push down on the right stick. Uh, as of right now, that's the only way to do it as clicking demolish right here only works on PC for some reason. Next up, let's talk about some mod updates for all platforms. And the first one is really not quite an update because it is now compatible with all platforms. The case I tried it, 5550. Uh, also, if you guys are on PC, this was updated for you. Uh, they say not letting fill liquid system from storage building has been fixed. Fixed two missing or missing nozzles on the liquid system and fixed a glitch when folding in the wings. So that's all good and well and awesome. So with this, you get the Trident liquid system. You've also got the dry box on the very end. And then you've got two tools which you will need in order for this to work i'll show you how to do it. it's pretty easy you got the trident tool lift and the quick change tool as far as the vehicle itself we've got 390 horsepower on here 617 liters of fuel where are they hiding it all goodness 31 mile per hour max speed which is really nice it weighs 8.5 tons by itself it ain't small well brands include michelin lizard oh yeah trelleborg and back in again you do have different options here so you've got different things you could choose from do you want to go with a big floater tire do you want dual row crops or single row crops or whatever you got it it's all here which is really nice Front LEDs, oh, you can add some uh, LEDs to the front if you really want to. Those are going to be in the grill, by the way. Uh, you've also got different designs inside for the different fields. Fenders, yep, you can add those if you like. I think they look good with fenders. We'll go with those. And then monitor inside. we got the liquid system display. Uh, and then we've got the dry box display. I'm trying to remember where that changes up. I think it's on the, uh, the actual screen in there once you turn it on. But that's it very simple and then you have the trident liquid system this holds 5300 liters of liquid fertilizer and herbicide it's got a 40.2 meter working width at 21 miles an hour it's pretty quick and you can make it stainless steel or red then we have well let's 
go to this first. We have the new leader. At least that's what it's showing up here on PC as. Um, consoles, this may be showing up as a lizard, but it is cross-platform, so we'll find out. 18,500 liters. That is solid fertilizer and lime at 42 meters spread, and you can make that red or you can keep it as that silver look. Very, very OP. And then we get into these pieces right here. You have the Trident Lifter Tool, which you will need so we're gonna have to get one of those and then we've got the liquid system or dry box system right here so i've got the dry box in the game so we'll go ahead and get that and we're also gonna need a telehandler for this we'll go with the new holland just to kind of keep that uh c and h setup going now what you're gonna want to do is hook up to this tool with your telehandler boop just like so then you want to hook up to this tool right here now i think you can pick it up from either side which is nice go through it'll give you the uh, click it will hang so it's gonna move around be ready for that so use your motions move very slowly nice and easy and then we can pick this up yeah just like so now uh this is not that heavy so it's really not a big deal for us now we need to take this over. I've already got the liquid system on here, so we're not gonna worry too much about that. I'm gonna see if I can make it fling off here. Uh, that didn't work, did it? Got it. <laughs> oh no, it's stuck. <laughs> All right, well, I'm just gonna toggle super strength and we'll, we'll kind of get this moved over from there. There we go, okay. So let's take this over and I wanna hook up here. Now this works with the liquid system or the uh, solid fertilizer system right here, either way, but uh, it's virtually identical. So what we wanna do is we wanna raise this up, go slowly with this. I have made the mistake so many times going fast. Uh, don't do that. When you go fast, it moves around just like that. And that's, well, that stinks. <laughs> so what we wanna do is we wanna try and get this lined up just about right with the back of it. So about right there, and I'm gonna detach from it. Then we're gonna move into here and connect. There is no other way to do that. You have to use this piece right here. And it works exactly the same for the liquid fertilizer as well. You just hook up to that, super easy. And you know what? I'm gonna show you guys with this as well. So I've got a new change tool right here. So nothing too crazy out of the way here. Go and get this set. I'm not the best uh, operator of a front loader or anything like that uh, as you guys have seen so we will need the different setup for this so make sure that you've got uh oh i'm not able to move anything mm -hmm. what have i done oh gotta use this all right well that was easy don't 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 do what i do just do what i tell you to do <laughs> we'll take this and we'll go ahead and back it up under here again this one's a little bit more difficult because you've got uh, collisions and stuff, but only when it drops down. When it's connected, there are no collisions, as you can see. So we want to set this in a way where we're going to be able to have those collisions. I'm trying to show you this because you know me. I'm not the best with this, but I want to make sure that you guys at least can be able to do this. So we'll get this down into place roughly, and then we'll take... The end, disconnect, we'll jump in real quick and connect. Boom, just like so. Whenever you're ready, disconnect, go ahead and detach and you can reconnect this and lift it around, take it where you need. Nice and easy, it, kinda. Now we do have some normal mod updates as well like you would expect for all platforms. First is the small cow farm version, well, one. I'm not quite sure what's going on here. Uh, it is an update, however, uh, it's showing as version 1, so I wish I could tell you what has changed for version 2 or version 1.1. 1 .1. uh, however, I don't know, download it, check it out, let me know. Here's a fun update to the Natural Waters, Rivers, and Ponds pack. This is going to be version 1.1. 1 .1. They've added a bunch of different elements, so pretty much everything that we had beforehand, we now have bluish water. We've also got, uh, was it greenish water? Yeah, greenish water as well. And you could take water for free. Yeah. Uh, also included with this is a stream setup. So you could build your own river and stuff like that. Not only 
pawns anymore. How cool is that? It's pretty neat. And your only other mod update for all platforms today is the Supima Pack of Universe Simu Modding version 1.001 animation fixes so that's it for all platform mods however we do have some pc and mac only mods today starting off with the stewart ps 1823h trailer this is a grain trailer but you can hold literally anything in it that you want Twenty three thousand three hundred liter capacity we also have a grain body number two and even a silage body, which will go up to 37,800 liters. Will brands include Trelleborg? We also have Michelin, BKT, Freistein. So change up those. Uh, we do have a couple that we could change up, but not a whole lot in there. Designs, we have without mud guards and with mud guards. Design, livery, you can throw those on there if you like. Do like those. I think they look really good. And then main color. This is nice. You've got every single color under the rainbow, including that Stuart blue. So whatever you like there. And then wheel options. We have base game gray. We have a black and then every color under the rainbow. So you can really, really change this up to match whatever you want. You want John Deere? Go for it. The only thing is, uh, I think they forgot the, the hubs because they continue to stay blue. But hey, if that's the only thing, there you go. Next is the SE Equipment Pack. We've got quite a few things here. We've got different bag lifters. We have pallet forks. We have round bill holders, bell spikes, pallet forks again. Uh, and then we've got a couple different buckets too. Now, if you go into combinations, it's going to show you wheel loaders only. However, you've got wheel loader, telehandler, front loader, all good there. We even have color options as well. So main color, we start with the black, but we can make it yellow design color. We have a blue. We also have a green, but I wanted to change this to red. Easy done. And the, the grip on the front, hey, change that up however you like as well. You know what? I'm thinking pink for this setup whatever you like. We have the exact same color options and uh, the same connection options throughout. So a single, double, and triple big bag lifts. We've got a couple different pallet forks in here as well with long pallet forks. So that's really gonna be nice. Pick up two or three pallets each. Again, even with that front loader, that's cool. And then you've got color options. So the entire frame of that could be changed up and then we'll go purple for the little bits on the front. Same thing right here as well. And then all throughout, that is really, really cool. So if you're looking for one pack that's got kind of a little bit of everything and you want it to work with everything on your farm, this might be the pack to go with. This is very nice. What's the biggest bucket? What is that, 6,000 liters? That's pretty good. Uh, that one is only uh, a wheel loader though, so be ready for that. Next up is the Matri Old Trailer Pack. Now we've got three trailers in here. We have the Atena 2418, the Atena 2722, and the BMM 180. A little bit different on each one. 24,700 liter capacity for the first one. Trelleborg, Michelin, Midas, Vridestun, BKT tires. And we've got some different versions in each of those. Mud guards with or without. Capacity, 24,700, 29,500, 34,600, and 37,000. We also have a, a secondary silage version if you want to go to the left or the right. We actually, hang on a minute, look at this. So we've got coming in from one side, and then coming in from the other side, but then coming in from the other side again. Oh, I'm so confused. <laughs> All the way down. Main color, you've got red, you've got yellow, and you've got black. And then your design color. on Oh, dark red with black. Oh, that looks so good. Then we have a, another version of the trailer right here. This is uh, going to be finding similar things here, except uh, the capacities are different. Now, the setups are similar, but not exactly the same. So be ready for that. Oh, I see what's changed. Just a little saddle there. I stand corrected. That's my bad. There you go. Nonetheless, uh, different capacities there. Same colors, same designs, and everything. And then lastly, we have their older style, at least visually, trailer. Similar wheel options through here. Different designs. We actually have some beacon options on the very back. That's pretty cool. We even have a uh, lighter colored one as well. We'll stick with that. Capacity, 18,530, 25,860, 28,330. 30,800, a couple different versions of that I back down. Your main color here, just a few different ones, and then different colors for your design. 
very cool trailer pack. Next up, we've got a semi-auto loader for the big Heston Bells from the ARM team. They have released their Heath Super Chaser QM Extra Heston. Yeah. Uh, this will hold 10 bells. It'll hold the 240 centimeter uh, Heston Bells that they make. Will brands include Trilobog, Michelin, BKZ, Ride Stein. You can change a few of those up to match whatever you got on your farm. Design, we have a couple different things here. Um, purely visual only but it is nice to to use those if you got one of those in real life designed without beacons and with the beacon main color this is nice as well any color under the rainbow so if you're running a cloth farm or something like that you can go down go into your rims i think it's fin that matches the best at least with cloth stuff there you go now you've got it there uh this is semi-automatic so you will have to lower this down pick up the bell bring it back up and now load automatically for you and your last new one for pc and mac players with the olivac mini chisel this is a cultivator 4.5 meter working with 120 horsepower required for this 1.7 tons nine miles per hour and you got the flo2 tires on there now we can change up a few things we can go for the 17 ton or the 21 time now i'm not seeing any difference here uh however online they do say that it's a 5.5 meter working with if you go with the biggest one and power requirement goes up as well from 120 to 150 still not that bad though good looking mod all right making our way into mod updates for pc and mac players first up we have the lender unitrack platform auto load this is going to be version 1.0.2 square bells of 120 centimeters the baby bells are now supported however this will require the fs22 auto pallet loader version 1.0 eight or above they also got adjusted unloading positions that auto uh pallet loader that is a mod that i definitely have installed on every single game save and i highly recommend that you guys do as well works great speaking of auto load we've got an update to the auto load stock trailers pack one of my favorite packs on the mod hub this is version 1.1.1 they've adjusted the maximum objects for various cargo on all trailers which does require the fs22 auto pallet auto loader we mentioned you want want that square bells 120 centimeters are now supported which also requires auto pallet loader adopted the xml adjustments from base game for the ans 1600 and the profile liner and they've adjusted the mod description you know what today we may not have had a lot of mods but this was a pretty good day all the mods that we got today are super high quality very excited for players well guys that's it for today's new mod video hope you enjoyed it. if you did drop a like get subscribed if you're new and join the go ham fam make sure your notification bells are on as well that way you never miss daily farming simulator videos here on the channel and i'm in it <laughs> even while i'm gone daily farming simulator videos i got some fun stuff planned for you let's plays and a couple other things as well including more stuff from volvo so stay tuned for that also no mod video or news video tomorrow on thursday however i will get some stuff together for you guys when i get to the hotel in Amsterdam on Friday. So, till then, hope you guys have a good one. We'll see you later. Peace.